Hey guys, Brick here. Today I'm going to show you how to beat Eraz and start your Mitar entry. So, with the sword that you're going to want, you're going to want a Soul Eater with at least 40 base fire damage. The reason that you're focusing fire damage on this is because the mobs in Mitar have such high defense that your attack uh, isn't significant. Like, they just defend it. So, you're going to want Ellie damage. Ellie damage surpasses the basic, uh, basic defense of the mobs, and then that's how you affect them. So... You're going to want 40 base fire damage on this. Just focus on that. Um, final stand shield, you're going to want minus 4 speed reduction, and you're going to want a good amount of health. Uh, but for your runes, you're going to want a single bloodthirsty rune for the start. You're going to want to get the other rune for the soul eater and the final stand rune after that. But for the start, and to make it uh, consistent, you're going to want this bloodthirsty rune. On the Soul Eater for the Life Steal. So that's it for the build. I'll see you at Mitar. All right, guys, we're here in Mitar. We're gonna go ahead and enter and face the mobs. Already cleared this a little bit earlier, so there shouldn't be. Oh, actually, there's full mobs. So even though we were low health when we got here, we're getting back up. We don't have to watch videos to do anything. Uh, to face these mobs you just run through them with this uh this rune and just keep on going then we go to the stone spiders these guys uh you're, you're gonna want to afk these guys because these uh these are like gold do you want a lot of them to create your amulets so All right, all the way through the stone spiders. And now we're at Ragors, or not Ragor, Uraz. So Uraz is a pretty clean sweep. All you gotta do is just walk up to him. Easy win, because we got the, because uh, we got the life steal. So if we didn't have the life steal, it would be a lot harder um, and a lot more inconsistent. So, we do have to watch a video, but it is an easy win, even with getting critical hit twice. So uh, that's the build that you needed to beat the uh, Ur-Raz and get through Mitar entry. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll catch you later.